on today's video with uh, side work adventures with Matt we are putting a swing away hitch on this boat trailer now what a swing away hitch is is exactly what it is you weld uh, two couplings on and they're pinned together and then when you store your boat inside or underneath your whatever you have your boat stored you can unpin the one side and you can flip your hitch or swing it away so you have less essentially length to put it in a tighter spot so I've actually done one of these before on my own boat that I had a few years ago before I sold it because it didn't fit my garage so I'll throw a couple pictures up and uh, let's get all the pieces customer brought everything to me that I need and uh, let's get to it well first thing you're going to want to do is put a jack stand under here because I'm going to need to take this actual uh, jack off the trailer I end up cutting it right here closer to the front it's all mangled up here don't know what happened but cut it back to some good metal and then we'll uh, start the process but get a good jack stand on there a little wobbly but she's uh she's pretty solid so we got the wheels chalked up let's uh get the pieces and start rolling all right got all that old junk cut off i kind of mocked this up and attacked the top get it squared up with the actual tongue of the trailer and uh i was gonna make weld this but obviously i'm outside and it's pretty windy so i think i'm gonna end up stick welding it which is fine it's like eighth inch wall tubing which whatever make it work but uh yeah and then i just need to figure the length for the new piece here I'm gonna cut it down clean it up for him weld this on and uh get this thing rolling that welded on in position uh, next thing we gotta do is weld that onto the other piece so let's do it All right, guys, quick pause. I want to tell you about a, uh, a company that reached out to me um, and sent me out a light, Olight. Maybe you've heard of them or not. They sent me out their new pocket light. Uh, it's called the Batten 3. I never carried a light before, a pocket light. I actually bought an Olight myself like seven months ago, and I carried it with me to work. It's really good if you're a pipe fitter, steam fitter, pipe welder, any sort of fitter. You can check inside your pipes for roots. And... Um, I get emailed a lot, maybe once or twice a week, from all these Chinese companies that want me to promote their junk. Uh, I don't have a big YouTube channel, but when you start getting into the six, seven, whatever I'm at, 6,000, 7,000 subscribers, you start getting uh, more emails than none, and I get a lot of junk emails. Olight, they reached out. I said, yeah, I'll take a light. I actually have one of your lights right now. I bought like half a year ago. I'll try the new one, so go check out. I got a link in my description. I got a promo code. Uh, I think it saves you 10%, but I definitely think you should definitely carry a pocket light. It is um, kind of essential in any sort of field. It, it comes in handy, and I'm not trying to peddle BS on you guys. Like, I actually, once I started carrying a pocket light, I found myself using it all the time. It's nice to have. Go check them out. I'll throw a little clip in of how bright this one is in the backyard, walking the dog in the pitch black. So, after that, let's just get right back to the thing. 
Hello. I'd say uh, this is a pretty bright light. All right. I slicked some welds on there. In position welds are always uh, going to look pretty good if you know what you're doing, which I'm not saying I know what I'm doing, but they ain't that bad. Welding flat is definitely the easiest process. So I'll let that cool off for a little bit. Maybe go grab a little dinner inside. I'm going to take a measurement and we're going to put the receiver on. So I cut this to the size that the customer wanted me to cut this to. And um, I thought it was a little long. It's a lot of weight on the pivot point. So I kind of mocked it up. I just called him, sent him a picture. We agreed that he uh i'm gonna put it right there it's obviously on a slant but i'm gonna cut it there instead now weld that on there and um still give him enough room and i need to get his chains on here somehow because in this system you want to put your safety chains not here because god forbid something happens to this and your safety chains here this breaks off which obviously you'd hope it doesn't um your boat's going boat's going down the highway so your safety chains you want here so they are going to be a little longer so i might weld a coupling or piece of bar here with some holes in it he's going to take care of the safety chains he's going to take care of the wiring so i'm just here to weld and uh get this thing done so let's get that cut and we'll finish this out I'm not entirely sure where we left off, but pretty much everything's done. All I need to do is um, get the safety chains on here. I think I'm just gonna end up welding a piece of plate right here with two holes, and uh, he can get. He's gonna ha gonna have to get longer chains because, like I said earlier, this has to be behind um, the pivot point. So that's uh, what we got to work on, and it's done. It's done. A couple days later, I've had some stuff I've been working on in my house, so we're gonna get this wrapped up and uh, send it on. Send it on its. Way. So I went with uh, something I've done before, just weld the end link on here instead of making a bracket. So it works. I've done it before on a few trailers and uh, it's just quick and easy and be on its way. Those are good to go. Essentially, it's the same thing as running a bolt through them, but the welder's out. We're welding everything. We'll just weld it on there. So let's get everything put in, put together. He's going to do the wiring. He's going to have to get longer chains. And uh, let's just get it all buttoned up and we'll wrap it up. Not even going to say it. All right, guys, that's it for this one. It's on there pretty good. So all you do, pull the pin, you fold this baby in. That's it. This is a pretty nifty idea for uh, boat trailers. I believe this is for boat trailers only because uh, they have barely any tongue weight. So 
job well done customer will be picking up today on Sunday and uh, it's as simple as that now as far as the jack he he doesn't plan on folding this ever. He doesn't need the space, but instead of adding pieces, he just got this instead. So he end up might end up putting the jack on here, which then you can't really fold it, but that's what he said he's going to do. Um, we can readdress it down the, down the line if I want. I can weld one of those weld-on jacks there if he ends up uh, wanting to fold it in. But that's a wrap, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. And as you guys saw maybe in the beginning of the video, this is not a tutorial on how to do this. This is what I did for it. So do not watch this video and think of it as how to install one of these. So just keep that in mind. Hire a professional welder if you want to do this. But other than that, thanks guys. I'll catch you on the next video. Ooh, ferocious. Willie, look. What's this? Down. Come. Hello. You gonna drop it? Good girl. Oh. Come on, drop it. Good girl. Ready? Down. Yes. Okay. Never mind.